Speaking of growth, imagine an NBA player once on the verge of being homeless, needing a place to lay his head and a warm meal, now committed to helping others in the same situation. You don't have to imagine. It's a real story, and it's happening right here in Dallas. Six-year NBA veteran Torian Prince recently made a fast break to a Salvation Army Social Service Center in Dallas to provide residents with everything from food and water to other everyday essentials like hygiene products. Giving is the number one um, rule to receiving. Uh, you can't really receive a lot of the blessings that you pray for or strive for unless you have that sacrifice of being able to give. Every day we're learning about the people in need here in North Texas, and it just really motivates us to do everything we possibly can to help provide that hope and that path to self-sufficiency. Torian knows all about the road to getting back on that path. All he has to do is look at a photo of himself before he became a teenager, when he and his father were homeless and found refuge staying in a Salvation Army shelter in San Angelo, Texas. Definitely saved my life. You never know what could have happened, um, what would have happened if that night me and my father had went to enroll, that they wouldn't have given us a spot. You just never know. You never know if Torian would have gone on to stand out at Baylor, become an all Big 12 performer, and an NBA first round pick who began his career with the Atlanta Hawks in 2016 or use basketball, where he's now played for four NBA teams, as a place where he could always turn to for peace, or be a current player on a Minnesota Timberwolves team on the rise that just made the playoffs this past season. Prince's journey has to resonate with anyone currently struggling for things most of us take for granted. Just keep pushing. Stay positive. I know it's so cliche to say, but... um. Just positivity and, and putting out good energy, and you receive it back. It makes us feel really proud to know that we helped him and his father in their time of need when he was a child. But right now, it's really great for our clients to hear his story to give them hope. When the Texas native who makes his off-season home in DFW looks at his own family, his hope is the sneakers he's able to give out are just a small step toward encouraging others that it's never too late to put their best foot forward. It lets them know that. Even though somebody that was in my position at one point in time as a child and they were still able to get where they are, um, it just gives them that motivation factor and, and that ambition that they can do it as well. So that's all I'm here to do is just try to be a blessing to them. You know, it's always so special when those guys who've been so successful are able to give back, but it's even that much more impactful when they can say, I've been there, I've been in your shoes, I've persevered, and I've made it, and you can too. And that's the most powerful example, Brooke, to be able to say, I didn't start at the top. Yeah. I, I started from the bottom, worked my way up, and you can do it as well. Uh, it's six.